Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at this example. We have been given an isosceles right triangle. So we know we have two 45 degrees there and 190 degrees. That's isosceles right triangle. And we have been given the equation of the hypotenuse. That is 3x plus 4y equal to 4. And we have been also told that the opposite vertex is 2 comma 2. Now we have to find out the equations of AB and BC. How to find out? So that's what we have to find out. What we have to found find out is equation of AB and equation of BC. Now we know that AB, BC are perpendicular to each other. So if I am able to find out one, then I can easily find out the other by taking negative reciprocal of the slope of the one. So let me just try to find out BC. For that what I will do? I will say the slope of BC is M. And we can find out the slope of this line 3x plus 4y equal to 4. So can I say 4y equal to minus 3x plus 4 or slope let me say that's equal to m2 equal to minus 3 by 4. And m is in the formula m1. So we have m1, we have m2 and we have theta. So we can directly go ahead and substitute them. So we know that if two lines are making an angle 45 degrees, then the angle between them tan theta is given by m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. Tan theta tan 45 is 1. We are interested in the acute angle, so we will consider only the positive value. M1 minus M2 by 1 plus M1 M2. So M1 is M and M2 is minus 3 by 4. So I will have M minus of minus 3 by 4 divided by 1 plus M is M1 into M2 that is minus 3 by 4. Let's go to the next step. We will have 1 equal to m plus 3 by 4 divided by 1 minus 3m by 4. So if I equate them by doing cross multiplication, I can see that m plus 3 by 4 equal to 1 minus 3m by 4 that's nothing but if I get m from right to left I will get m plus 3m by 4 if I get this 3m by 4 to the right side because left side actually we have left side variables and right side numericals are constant so I'll have 1 minus 3 by 4 if I simplify that, I will have 7m by 4 equal to 1 by 4 or m equal to 1 by 7. So we got m equal to m1 equal to 1 by 7. We also know a point. So this is pretty easy now. I can directly go ahead and say equation of BC is given by y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 point slope form the point is 2 comma 2 so y minus 2 equal to 1 divided by 7 into x minus 2 or if you do cross multiplication 7y minus 14 equal to x minus 2 or simplification I will have x minus 7y plus 12 equal to 0 so this will be the equation of BC. Now how to find out the equation of AB? To find out the equation of AB, we know the slope of BC. Slope of BC is 1 by 7. So slope of AB will be nothing but equal to minus 7 because we know AB is perpendicular to 
BC and if two line segments are perpendicular to each other then their slopes will be negative reciprocal of each other. So AB slope M equal to minus 7 and we know the point so I can directly say Y minus 2 equal to minus 7 into X minus 2 or can I say Y minus 2 equal to minus 7X plus 14 or 7X plus Y minus 16 equal to 0. So the equations of AB and BC are equation of BC is X minus 7 Y plus 12 equal to 0 and equation of AB is 7 X plus Y minus 16 equal to 0. Now how we have solved this? We have been given the hypotenuse equation and we have been given the point at which the right angle is made, the vertex. Now we have to find out the equation of AB and BC. We know that the angle between the any leg of the isosceles right triangle with the hypotenuse is 45 degrees because it's an isosceles right triangle. Now leveraging that we know the angle equal to 45 degrees. Taking the slope of BC as M, we, can, we are able to find out the slope as 1 by 7. Once we got the slope, we can substitute it in point slope form and get the equation of BC. Equation of AB is, since AB and BC are perpendicular to each other, slope of AB will be negative reciprocal of BC and also it has to pass through 2 comma 2. That's how we can find out the equation of AB and BC. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next session where we will do some more examples as part of find e equations of straight lines. Finding out the equation of the straight line when we know the, l the line is making an angle with a specific line and also passes through a point. Thanks for your time.